problem I run into when I do that is he tends to get a little crooked walking. Right. He does. So uh, what we've done, I think, is, is, is we've gone back to a lot of bit where we can just hold him, but I think he's, he's learned how to do it better. He's learning not to push against you so hard. When he gets excited and you just sit back there and just let him march right, just hold him consistent and let him work. Okay. Say. And then feeling, if, you know, if he backs off, then you can turn loose of him just a little bit. But as long as he's marching down through there, let him put his head back on his chest and march down through there. So yeah. there's less bit now. There's less bit now. It keeps him from getting so crooked walking and you can help him. If he, if he does get crooked, you can kind of bump one side and he doesn't get agitated about it. Okay. So I think that's, I kind of got to do what he makes him comfortable also. All right. And we we'll, and last time I love it. you use the whip very well, but use it only when you need to. Yeah. It's, if he's walking and he stops, cluck to him first. If he doesn't go, then tap. Okay. You, that that way he knows when you use that whip, it means business. All right. And, and not all the time. All right. Let's go, big boy. Let me do it. Okay. Walk. Good. Walk. That's right. Right there. Walk. Easy, boy. That's right. Easy, boy. Walk up. That's right. Walk. Yeah. Let's try. Good, John. Good. Man. Yep. Right there. That is sit there consistent. Let you do that. Give off. Look to him. Push him right to the third. Hold him down there. Hold him down there. That's right. That's right. Right there. Nice dig. Let's try.
Yep. Walk up. Keep doing it. You're doing good. Walk. Clap to him. Walk. That's right. Walk. That's right. Good job. Walk. 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 Whoa. Now back up. Whoa. Walk. Whoa. Yeah, how'd that feel? Felt good. Hey, that wasn't too stout, was it? No, no.